remember how George said if he didn't have Winds of Winter done by this summer, by the time of Worldcon, we could imprison him? Well, he did an update on his website, and he let us know that maybe it'll be done by next summer. George, we're coming for you. A deal's a deal. We're going to imprison you. So first off, there's a lot to talk about with the Winds of Winter, but I want to talk about the update about House of the Dragon and then I'll go to Winds of Winter because I feel like we should start with something happy, right? Right. So George shared on his website in his not a blog section that actually the House of the Dragon, despite Hollywood being very slow right now due to the pandemic, is coming along wonderfully. I'm sorry, flying along wonderfully. Those were his exact words. So, I mean, that's good. We already know that it's been greenlit for an entire season. So the fact that they're still working on it amongst the pandemic and all the chaos going on is a good thing. And I'm hoping we're gonna have more leaks about the House of the Dragon coming up, maybe at the end of this year, maybe beginning of next year, because I really want more live action Game of Thrones, The Song of Ice and Fire stuff to be happening. Especially if it washes out the bad taste of the final season of Game of Thrones. It's still in my mouth. So now let's go to the bad news. George updated us on the Winds of Winter, and while he's making a lot of progress, which I will go into, he's not done. And we know that last year he said he would be done by this summer, and if he wasn't, we could imprison him. And, you know, he said before the final season of Game of Thrones, he'd have Winds of Winter done. And then he said the season before, he, 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 he'd have it done. Anyways, let's, let's read what he wrote. I have to confess, after half a year of pandemic, quarantine, and social distancing, I am showing signs of cabin fever, half of which is quite literal in my case. Yes, I'm in an actual cabin in the mountains. We'll still find you, George. That's not gonna save you. If nothing else, the enforced isolation has helped me write. I am spending long hours every day on the winds of winter and making steady progress. I finished a new chapter yesterday, another one three days ago, another one the previous week. But no, this does not mean that the book will be finished tomorrow or published next week. It's going to be a huge book, and I still have a long way to go. Please do not give any credence to any clickbait websites that like to parse every word of my posts as if, you know, they can divine hidden meanings, whatever. Fuck you, George. Okay, I know you're thinking, wow, dude, but here's the thing, and I'm not saying the pandemic was a good thing whatsoever, obviously, not saying that. I know someone's gonna take this out of context and be like, oh my god, Rorsch thinks that the pandemic and tons of people dying is like the best thing ever. Not what I'm saying. But think about it this way. So, George last year said, oh yeah, I'm gonna have Winds of Winter done by this summer. Not done. The pandemic hit, he has been forced to work hard on Winds of Winter, and he said in several different places, yeah, actually, the pandemic has caused me to have to just focus on Winds of Winter because, you know, everything else, as he said in Hollywood, is at a very slow crawl. So imagine if the pandemic didn't happen, where he'd be at with writing the Winds of Winter. So I know you're thinking, wow, it's not done yet. But the pandemic, I think, actually helped him get much further in the book than he would have if there was no pandemic. Now, obviously, I wish there was no pandemic and George was further behind in Winds of Winter. Human lives is uh, more important than a fucking fantasy book, but just keep that in mind. Keep in mind that George is quite a bit further than what he would have been if the pandemic didn't happen. But also think about that in a scary way. Without the pandemic, George, George wouldn't be this far. And he's thinking it's going to be next summer. Oh wait, let me read the part to you where he says he hopes it's uh, done for next summer, obviously, because I, I read the update and I guess I didn't share that portion, so let, let's do that really quick. I was heartbroken that Con Zealand was forced to go virtual due to the pandemic and I had to cancel my plans, exciting plans, for a long trip down to Wellington with Paris and my minions. But there is definitely a silver lining in that cloud. The last thing I need right now is a long interruption that might cost me all the momentum I have built up. I can always visit Wellington next year, when I hope that both COVID-19 and the winds of winter will be done. Okay, I'm not being a Debbie Downer, and I'm not saying you shouldn't be optimistic. But going back to what I said earlier, George says, I feel like every year, yeah, I'm gonna get it done within a year. It's, it's gonna happen. Probably not gonna happen, but 
there's some good news. There are plenty of amazing fantasy and even sci-fi books that you can just engross yourself in, and I'll be covering on this channel. So, I mean, be sad, be devastated, but also realize he's probably not gonna have it done next summer. I know he thinks he will, but you know, it's it's George. He doesn't do well with deadlines, which is fine. I mean, you know, you do you, dude. I'm not in charge of you. But he did also update us on the chapters he's working on and so far what he's been doing, which I want to read that part because that's just a little bit of a ray of hope amongst the, you know, devastation of everyday life. So he talked about how he's doing pre-recorded bits for different ceremonies that he was promised to, and then here's the continuation of that. In between tapings, I returned to Westeros. Of late, I have been visiting with Cersei, Asha, Tyrion, Sir Bannister, and Hoda. Oh no. I will be dropping back into Bravos next week. I have bad days which get me down, and good days which lift me up. But all in all, I am pleased with the way things are going. Oh wait, no, the way things are doing. Maybe he meant to say going there. That would have made more sense. Anyways. I do wish they would go faster, of course. Way, way back in 1999, when I was deep in writing of A Storm of Swords, I was averaging about 150 pages of manuscript a month. I fear I shall never recapture that pace again. Looking back, I'm not sure how I did it then. A fever, indeed. Yeah, I mean, probably the thing was, is you don't do well with deadlines. You've admitted that many times, and... You didn't have strict deadlines back then. It wasn't the craze it is now. So that that would that would be my guess, but you know, what do I know? <laughs> a lot about certain subjects, if you wanna talk to me about them. So anyways, throughout his post, he talks about all these uh, interesting television shows and books that he's reading, which if you're interested in stuff that George is interested in, for sure go to his website, check it out. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about what he recommended here just because that, that's not what this video is about, but here's what he ended on saying in his update. Mostly it's just me and Westeros with occasional side trips to other places in the pages of a great book. Now, you will have to excuse me. Arya's calling. I think she means to kill someone. Oh yeah, what a, what a, what a shocker that Arya is <laughs> looking to kill someone. So, Anyways, I know you are going to see this update and be super bummed because there was a lot of buildup to the Winds of Winter being ready to be at least published by this summer. That's what George was indicating, and now that's not so much the case. But he is making a lot of progress. The pandemic is helping with that. He has less distractions. We know George is easily distracted by all the other things he's working on. And granted, in that post, he did talk about some of the other things that are still holding his attention despite the pandemic. But... We're getting closer. So I know it's easy to see his update about Winds of Winter and just be super upset and take nothing positive from it, but I, I really do think there is a lot of positive to take from this. I'm not trying to be a George apologist, though certainly everyone accuses me of, especially being a shill. Uh, uh, as always, I say, George, HBO, you wanna, you wanna fucking pay me? So no, I'm just being a, a, a normal, um, I think it's called a rational human being that doesn't like it when people trash other people. I think that's what the kids call a white knight, even though back in my day, it was called just being a, a, a decent human being sticking up for other people. I don't know. Anyways, take a lot of positivity from this. Know that he's working very hard. He has a lot of chapters done and we probably won't get wins next year, but maybe 20 uh, 22 I, I i don't know hey did you know house of the dragons going very well and it's steaming full ahead so that that's good right 